Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Dr. Scott. And let me be one of the first to uh, say Happy New Year to you. Happy 2019. Hopefully, I'm not the first to wish you a Happy 2019. Hopefully, you had a wonderful New Year's Eve with family like I did. Uh, and you had a lot of love surrounding you at the uh, the drop of the ball last night if you stayed up that long. I know most of my family was either exhausted or really grumpy by that time. Uh, but uh, we always enjoy watching the, the ball fall together. A lot of you know my uh, my my tradition uh, for New Year's Eve from years in the past where I get dressed up in my tux and kick, cook uh, corners game hence for everybody. That went off without a hitch. Those of you who might remember uh, I was here last year wearing my tux, trying to make you think I stayed up all night, but I didn't. Uh, I was still in bed so I can keep up my good morning routine, which is what I want to talk about with you today. And it's all I want to talk about with you today. And it's all I want to talk about the whole month of January. And I'm really excited about that. Uh, last year, we did a morning routine series. We did it every day uh, of January. For 31 days straight, we talked about morning routines. Never missed an episode. Uh, and we got some really great results from that. Some of my clients, some of the, some people um, who had followed me for, for years, and they told me that, but never engaged, really engaged with the morning routine series because they got so much out of it. I loved doing the morning routine series last year. So this year, we've made it even better. Uh, and that's what I want to talk to you about today. So we are going to go live. Or no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll take that back. We are not going to do it live this year. And there's very, very good reason for that. You may have noticed I have not been live uh, much at all this year, last couple of months. Uh, and there's very good reason for that as well. Won't get too much into it, but I, I'm a big fan of not fighting against resistance. Uh, when there's resistance, a lot of times I just uh, I, I choose uh, the path of least resistance, if you will. Um, and Facebook has just changed a bunch of stuff. So when it came to Facebook Live, which used to be a big thing to them, uh, it came to a point where there were so many live videos out there that they just stopped showing it to people. Um, so a bunch of people who watched me on a regular basis were saying they weren't getting notified of my show. It just became such a thing. It wasn't worth fighting because I knew I wasn't going to win against Facebook. Uh, so we stopped doing some of the live videos. I've been recording a bunch of videos for you. So we've been spending a lot of time getting the morning routine series ready for you for the month of January. So we're going to be releasing recorded videos. Another Facebook change has made it so that we're going to be releasing those videos inside the High Performance Chiropractor group. High Performance Cairo is the name of the group. I believe the link is in the comments. So we're going to be releasing all those videos inside that group. You'll probably see a couple, uh, you know, teaser videos as we call them here on, on my page or on my personal page or even on Instagram. Uh, but all the real content is going to take place over in that high performance Cairo group. So I would love for you to come over and join that group. Uh, you know, I, I've seen some of the groups out there in our, our industry where they just sign up a whole bunch of chiropractors. I'm not that way. I want you to request uh, to be in the group. If you, I want you, if you're going to be in there, I want you to be want to be in there. So I'm not going to add a bunch of people just randomly. Just go over there and request. You can leave at any time. I won't be offended. But this morning routine series is going to be really, really cool. Last year, uh, you know, I say <laughs> we're doing it this year without any fluff. I don't feel like it was fluff last year, but I do feel like we were, um, I don't want to say distracted either. We had other content last year along with the morning routine things. This year, we're doing morning routine only for the next 31 days. So last year I was doing perfect case acceptance on Thursdays and I was doing uh, some financial stuff on Fridays and the morning routine started off every show. So this year, again, we're just going to give you pure content for the morning routine. And there's a reason for that because I have found uh, throughout this year uh, for myself personally, talking to clients uh, that I won't say none of that stuff matters without the morning routine, but that morning routine makes everything else so much better. So I want to spend the first month of this year helping you develop your perfect morning routine. Because again, I know that's going to help you get better perfect case acceptance. I'm going to, I know that's going to help you get uh, achieve referral mastery in your practice. Uh, I know that's going to help you have success in your practice by getting your morning routine done. And obviously we do it this time of year because it's New Year's and there's resolutions. By the way, there is a question of the day, which is what is your New, year resolu New Year's resolution? And even if you don't like that word, I don't. Uh, what's your goal for 2019? What's your plan? Put that in the comments down below for me. No matter where you're seeing this, because I know we're shared off to a couple different places. Um, so tell me your 2019 plan, resolution, goals, whatever it might be. 
uh, put that in the comments. And again, no matter what your plan is, a morning routine is going to help you get there. Uh, a morning routine is going to be crucial. And I, I went back and watched last year's show from January 1st, and a bunch of people put that. that that's what they want. It's more commitment, consistency, and their, and their morning routine. It's something that I've been very proud of in my own life for years now. Uh, so again, I'm going to share that with you. And I mentioned this last year, but those of you who know me know that this is not going to be me just handing you my morning routine and saying, here, here's my morning routine. If you do, you know, this is what successful people do. If you do this, you'll be successful too. Uh, I don't believe in that in coaching. Uh, I believe in individualizing everything. Uh, so I don't believe in, the, in it for the morning routine either. So I'm not going to just tell you how to do a morning routine. I'm not going to give you a morning routine and say, go do this. I'm going to help you figure out what's right for you. What? Because I've found in both coaching chiropractors that if we help them create a system that they like in their practice, they will stick with it. It will become a habit for years versus giving them a system that they don't like and they'll do it for a couple months, but then they'll kind of like change some things and they won't get the success they want. Same thing here with the morning routine. If I just hand you a morning routine that's not suited for you and you do it for a week, you'd be like, oh, you know, I'm getting some results, but you'll start to fade off of it because it doesn't fit you. So we're going to find a morning routine that's perfect for you. I'm going to help walk you through all the categories, all the things you could possibly uh, put into your morning routine, and you're going to choose what, which of those are, and, and we're going to build it over the next 31 days. A lot of you are probably waking up this morning, or maybe you're waking up this morning hungover. You're planning to wake up tomorrow morning uh, to do a morning routine. You've got a list of like 20 things you want to do in that morning routine. That's not the way I like it. I want to add a little bit of it at a time. And I think part of the key, which I talk about a lot, is removing a lot of the other stuff. Uh, and we'll be talking about that as well, the things that you need to remove, like checking your email first thing in the morning, uh, you know, getting involved into Facebook or, or anything else first thing in the morning. And I know I'm going to be here first thing in the morning, but with the recorded videos, they'll be stored all day long. So you'll be able to access those. So we're going to go through just a quick little outline. We'll go through your nighttime routine first and foremost. Then we're going to do kind of some wake up, like hygiene, alarm clock, snooze buttons, all that kind of stuff. We're going to discuss that and kind of see where everybody is on that. We will also discuss uh, exercise, whether it's a full workout or just getting moving. I feel like everybody should get moving in the morning. We'll talk about that. We're going to talk about uh, water uh, consumption. That's actually already today, almost a gallon. Kind of need some. Hold on. We're going to talk about water consumption, uh, how to do that right. We're going to talk about nutrition, uh, so breakfast. Intermittent fasting versus, uh, you know, low-carb breakfast, high-carb breakfast, kind of go through some of that stuff. We're going to talk about caffeine. We're going to talk about supplements. Uh, we're going to talk about getting all that stuff in your morning. And then we're going to get into some of the, the mental stuff. Uh, we're going to talk about journaling. I don't know where I put it. Uh, we're going to talk about journaling. Oh, that's right. It's inside. We're going to talk about journaling. Um Five-minute journal is something I recommend last year. A bunch of people got that based on my recommendation and really, really enjoyed the five-minute journal. We are going to talk about um, reading. Just, you know, what's on your uh, reading agenda. What you... <sighs> Filling your mind early with some stuff that's going to help you in your life. So whether it's personal um, growth or it is some business-related stuff, getting some reading or some learning done in the morning. Um we're talking about some family stuff. We're going to talk about all that stuff that you can do in the morning. We're going to find a perfect amount of time for you and the perfect things to put in, the, in those morning routines. And I guarantee you, if you take the time and put together a, a morning routine for you, which is a little bit flexible, leaves a little bit of cushion, but also gets done, gets the things that are important to you to get done, done, uh, you're going to have a much more productive day. Several people last year also talked about, you know, family work balance uh, and found that if they did this, you know, although a lot of parents especially feel like this is taking time away from their kids, it just means you got to get up before your kids uh, or, you know, do the zone defense with a, with a husband and wife, mom and dad, uh, where one takes care of the kids, the other one does a morning routine and you switch. But by doing that, you're actually a better parent, a better spouse, Better family work balance later in the day because you got some of those important things done first thing in the morning. I always apply it to uh, being in an airplane, you know, where they say if, uh, if the oxygen mask come down, make sure you put your mask on first before you help somebody else, before you help your child, right? Because obviously, if while you're helping your child, 
You don't get oxygen and you both pass out. Does it do anybody any good? Same thing here. Put your mask on first. Take care of yourself first. Take care of those important things first. And that's what this morning routine series is designed for. So, again, I need you to go over and join the High Performance Cairo Group. Link is in the comments. Uh, get in there. That's where we're going to be doing all the longer form content. You'll see some, some pieces of information here on the business page, on my personal page, on the Instagram page. Uh, but you're all going to want to be in that high performance Cairo group in order to get the, the real content and really engage, get some feedback on your morning routines. Uh, and we're going to really make this happen for 2019. So I'm super excited about it. Again, uh, more information than last year, less fluff than last year. Uh, so make sure you go join that group and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Uh, again, it won't be live. It'll be a recorded video, but please engage with it. Uh, but it will still be released at 7am inside the group tomorrow morning. Talk to you tomorrow.